bit of a look through the old Hilux and traveling around in. It's uh, a 1985 LN65 Hilux. Um, so yeah, it's pretty old, but I love these old Hiluxes. Any old Toyotas love them. But uh, yeah, I've done a few big trips in it. Been to Cape York in it, Fraser Island. Been all up through the center of Australia and through the Gulf and that before. And uh, yeah, heaps of other trips. And now we're doing our big full-time trip in it. And uh, yeah, had it for about, well, I've had it since 2015. So yeah, we've um, schmicked it up a fair bit over the years. Repainted it, built a new tray for it brought the canopy and we built the tray around it. Yeah, we'll give you a bit of a closer look at it. Alright, so this is under the bonnet. Nothing uh, too fancy. It's just the old uh, 2.4 diesel. Was naturally aspirated but we've now put a turbo on it. And uh, front mount intercooler. Three inch exhaust all the way through. Um, yeah, we just sort of I got a bloke made the manifold, and I just sourced, sourced all the other bits and pieces. Done, I just made this pipe work up and everything, it all works fine. So, um, yeah, they're slow as non turbo, so yeah, we just ended up doing this to get up the hills a bit better and pull a bit of weight a bit better. Um, yeah, got a aftermarket radiator, aluminium radiator. I did have a real cheap shitty one in it and it ended up leaking when we were away on another trip so I ended up putting a good copper brass radiator in it and um, first drive it started getting hot and I sort of put up with it for a little while but um, worked out I ended up putting this in it and it runs perfectly like nice and cool now you know once you tab on they run a little bit hotter but um, yeah this keeps it way cooler but yeah the copper brass radiator I had it was friggin running hot as and I don't know what was wrong with it. It was a Repco one, OEX, so don't don't get one of them. Don't get an OEX <laughs> radiator, the shit. A lot of people whinge about these um, aluminium radiators, reckon they leak on that too, but so far it's been good. I have, we did punch a hole in it one day. I left, oh, a few months ago, I left me Leatherman under the bonnet. When we're driving, it fell into the fan and punched a hole in the radiator here. Just down there. So you can see it, can yeah, it's see. punched a hole in it, but um, we just pulled it out and put some two-part party, like JB weld type stuff, and it hasn't leaked a drop since, so I reckon these radios are fantastic, but yeah, apart from that, haven't done too much more under here, just, yeah, lots of little maintenance stuff. Oh, I upgraded the uh, alternator, because it wouldn't charge any of me, the standard radiator's way too small, wouldn't charge any of me. 12 volt stuff we got going on, so that's a bit of an upgraded one, higher output one. And uh, yeah, when we turboed it, just wound the fuel up a little bit more, made it go a bit better. Yeah, that's about it, that's about all that's going on under here. In the front here, we've just got a old, um, just a good steel ball bar, winch in it, some real good quality driving lights, they're fantastic. Only small, but they're real, real bright. Bush Ranger ones, really good. Real. Like them a lot. Uh, yeah, that's about all that's going on up here. All right, so this is in the cab. Really, not much going on in here. I like to keep it pretty tidy and simple. Uh, just got a UHF, as always. Um, Stereo, got my gauges, these are essential. Watch these a lot, temperatures, you gotta watch the temps on the old girl, so got them. Uh, love the old brown interior, love that old school brown. Um, it's pretty small in here, small, tiny little cab. We're, we're both pretty tall, but yeah, you know, we get it done. We've got no air con, uh, no air con at all, no power steering, so everything's pretty, pretty basic. Show the aircon on your AC. Oh yeah, this is this is your aircon here. Just open that up. Simple stuff. All right. Now this is the 
rear of the vehicle. Got a um, aluminium canopy. It's by I brought it off a mob in Melbourne called Fused Fabrications. Love it. It's freaking fantastic. Like jack off legs, you can lift it all off. I didn't bring the legs with me on the trip because they're too heavy, but yeah, at home you can just lift it off and have it off within two minutes. So yeah, that's fantastic. Um, I brought that first and then Gu and I built this tray around it so it all matches and lines up well. So we spent a fair few, well, a fair few hours in the shed and Gu welded this all up for me and I gave him a hand, told him what I wanted and he was sort of the brains of it. And he's, he's a good welder and pretty good welder and told him what I wanted and that's what we come up with. It turned out pretty good, pretty happy with it. Got a um, water tank, stainless steel water tank made for the headboard here. I think it's about 40 litres. But um, yeah, that's awesome. Drinking water. Really good. Um, oh, I've also got a, a diesel, a secondary diesel tank underneath. Can't really see it. It's up under there. The yellow one. Yeah, that's another, I think it's only like 40 litres, but it's, yeah, really, that's a bit of bit of extra fuel. Got a rooftop, this is our rooftop tent, we'll open it up in a minute and show you this, but it's by a bloke in, uh, where is it? Hornsby. Sydney, you can't see the logo. It's from a bloke in Sydney. He uh, imports the shell and gets the canvas made, it's all Aussie made canvas. But it has also been fantastic. It's really simple to set up, really good quality canvas in it. And yeah, we'll show you that in a minute. Got. So we've got a couple of solar panels up on the top there. They just keep things um, keep things charged while we're parked up. We walk around, spare tire, bin bag, and yes. Uh, there's just a bit of awkward space here on the back. And because we're on this big trip, um, I was running out of we we're running out of room, so. Gil and I built this as well. Just extra storage. It's usually full of crap. Usually got a gas bottle in there and a spare jerry can and another water jerry can. Just any random stuff. It doesn't really matter if it gets dirty. So yeah, chuck all, chuck all that sort of stuff in there. Handy bit of storage because yeah, as I said, we were really running out of room in the canopy. We've got a shovel permanently under here. We made that up, it just stays under there all the time. It's also a fantastic little feature. <laughs> um, this is just full of a heap of other stuff, I'll show you in there in a minute. And this is where our dog goes, Luxie. Um, yeah, he just jumps in there, just, it's just cut off from the rest of the canopy and I'll throw a few other things in there because she doesn't need all the room, so. What else we got? Uh, cut the... This was all like a nice laser cut pattern, but I cut it out because she wanted to have her head out all the time. She was pushing her head against it and rubbing her nose on it, so cut this out and she just got her head out all the time. She uh, loves it. She gets quite a few uh, funny looks from a lot of people too. Yeah. People driving past, taking photos and... Everyone's always pointing. Pointing and laughing. Big hairy dog hanging on the side. <laughs> A couple of boxes either side just for extra straps and heaps of random little bits and pieces. This is for me fishing rods. Just chuck them up in there. Um, also got the awning on the other side, Darchi awning. It's also been fantastic. Um, I've had a lot of cheaper gear in the, on our other trips like King's stuff. And yeah, this when we started putting all this together I thought going to make it look all schmick, I better get some decent quality stuff. And it's, uh, yeah, it's been good, everything I've got has been, yeah, really good quality. I haven't really had any dramas with anything, it's, yeah. Also got, um, upgraded suspension in it. It's all old man emu suspension and shocks. Uh, it's been in there for a fair while. That's in the rear, in the front's got Dobinson Leafs and then old man emu shocks bit of a mix but it's all it all works pretty well um, when I when I loaded it up for the trip sort of sat everything on there and put everything in what we need it's sagging in the rear a bit so 
ended up putting some uh, airbag man airbags in the back. They're just under there and just pump them up from the back. But they've been awesome as well. You just, yeah, like it stiffened it up a little bit. It used to sway around a bit and yeah, just stiffened it up a bit. And, yeah, really big fan of them. for you and show you how simple it is. Yeah, there's two latches. There it goes. Less down. I'm just gonna set up a couple of poles. Show you. Holes in. These ones just go across. Yeah, so you just put these four poles in. These two up here and then these two here make an X. They also give it extra strength so it can't actually fall back down with this X shape. So it can't, all the weight sort of pushes against this here and it can't, can't come back down on you while you're sleeping. So yeah, give you a bit of a look inside the tent. Um, we're currently staying on a place doing a bit of work so we're sta sleeping in a donger at the moment but so it doesn't have the mattress or anything in it or yeah there's a lot of stuff that isn't in the ute but uh yeah i'll give you a bit of an idea anyway this is just inside it a couple of really big mozzie nets midgy proof as well put we put that extra pocket in bit of a light up there that pocket's real handy just uh yeah sit your phone and bits and pieces and it's also got these two really big side windows that open all the way up. Also got mozzie nets in them. Um, yeah, apart from that, they're really good. The only issue I do have with this tent is these struts on the inside. Um, when you shut it, they sort of get in the way a bit. But um, his new, he has changed the design. The new ones, the struts are on the outside, which I would definitely prefer, but yeah, that's it. We'll set up there. What are your thoughts on the tent, Hannah? Do you like it? Perfect. It's good. I love it. Okay, yeah, it's fantastic for sleeping. <laughs> That's it all set up. All up there. Yeah, the uh, really, really is a fantastic tent. I looked into a heap of different brands. Some of them are um, like you get the Alucab ones. They're like six grand or something. I think we paid three and a half for this. I think that's what it was, roughly. Yeah, I think so. Something like that, between three and three and a half grand or something. Yeah, it's really, really good. Um, nice thick canvas like as soon as you touch it you can feel it's good quality stuff there's some of them look into a few cheap ones but yeah figured you're going to be living in it you want something pretty decent but yeah Australian made which is perfect sort of well the canvas and everything canvas is all Aussie made and Aussie bloke is uh, putting them together so supporting an Australian made business
this is our electrical or 12 volt setup. We've got a DC DC charger, so this controls yeah from the alternator charger battery and solar. Um, and I've also got a 240 charger in here, so when we're pulled up somewhere with power, we can just plug in. It's got a kick out. It's just got a kick ass um, deep cycle, 170 amp hour battery in the back there, and it's been really good so far too. Keeps both these fridges running. A um, couple of outlets here. Um, come around here. We got solar. Just got a little setup here. Can't really see it, but solar in, power out. So we got power going up to the tent and solar from up there. And you can also, I got a little just a bit of a setup here. You can plug another solar panel in. So you can have these solar panels and another one on the ground plugged in. All plugged from the alternator, and then this is where you charge it for 240. Pretty good little setup, just sort of like a caravan, just plug it in, forget about it. Yeah, this, this whole setup's been really good. My mate, my mate Benny done this. Good on you, Benny. Been fantastic. Really happy with that. Simple and effective. Give you a bit of a look through the kitchen now. This has also worked really well so far. Been really happy with it, haven't Love we, Hannah? It. <laughs> Works fantastic. So we got a 65 litre Bushman's upright fridge. These things are really light. I just built a box around it just to hold it. And a bit of a mess in there, but it actually um, you can fit a fair bit of stuff in there. Like it's yeah, this is one of the smaller ones they make, and it's um, yeah, it's actually really good. Really happy with it. They're really light. It's only like I think it's 19 kilos or something whereas these old angles are pretty heavy but um, yeah on, on the other hand you can't really beat an angle these are friggin fantastic so we use this one as a fridge and this is a freezer and just got it on a um, tilt slide so you can get at it a bit better tilts down allows you to get into it and um, makes life a bit easier yeah that's been awesome too so this is all we just tried to make it as light as possible really it's the old girl doesn't really like too much weight but um yeah all that works fantastic and if you don't feel like setting up the table which is sometimes a pain in the bum we have this clear view table as well that just clips in on the front here yeah it's not even made that as a it's not even made for that no. slide but it all fits perfectly and yeah, that's real handy when you just pull up and make a sambo or whatever. And then I built all these drawers. These are just, yeah, just cutlery. And as I said, we don't have much stuff because we're living in a little donger at the moment. But little cutlery drawer and so that's sort of the pantry, all the food and everything in there. And then this is where all our cutlery and pots and pans go. Once again, not much in there, it's a bit empty at the moment. But that has all worked perfectly. And also more storage up the top there. Another table there. Here you just sort of slide whatever you can up there. Little basket in front here, you can just put our veggies and stuff, food in there. Gas cooker under there. Um, yeah. Got all these, got lights up here. All dimmable lights, change colour for the bugs. Yeah, as I said, it's um really simple but really effective. Love it. Works perfectly. Just yeah, timber drawers, nice and light. Very happy with um the way this all works. What do you reckon, her? That's good. Love it. It's um definitely a lot easier than what we had before and everything's got a place which is good <laughs> yep good stuff this is the other side of the canopy um it's just got our clothes and all my tools and bits and pieces spare parts and stuff so all our clothes go up here 
just got these little tubs. Um, there's usually a couple more in here, but they're in the donger at the moment. Um, yeah, that's all our clothes there. Just 25 litre tubs from Bunnings. And goes so in we there. have two and a half each. So there's five tubs all up there, and we have we share one, and then we have two each for all of our clothes. Yeah, we were a bit worried we weren't going to have enough room for all that stuff, but it's worked out fine. You really don't need too many clothes. We just built this bit of a shelf here to put it all in. And then went to Bunnings and got these other bigger tubs. As I said, they've just got, um, yeah, spare parts, bits and pieces. Tools. Tools. Um, yeah, a bit of fishing gear in there. Noth nothing too exciting in here. I did want to build some big drawers in here, but by the time you build them, and you don't, you lose a heap of room here. So just end up going with these tubs. Just pull the tub out and get what you need. But yeah, it um, it all works pretty good as well. Like, I mean, I would prefer some drawers in here, but this works fine. Also got a light on this side. And yeah, that's that's about it for this side. My tyres are uh, rims and tyres, just a black sunraiser rim, 15 inch rim on a 31 inch, 31 inch tyre. Um, yeah, I've never had any need for any bigger tyres. Everyone, I mean, it would look better with bigger tyres and stuff, but as I said, I've never ever needed any bigger. I don't do any like extreme full driving or anything like that, but we do some pretty rough as guts tracks and stuff like that and we've got, we have blown one on coming across the Savannah Way it's sharp rock blown it but um, yeah I've always just run 31 inch mud tyres easy to get um, yeah 15 inch rim the old school look with the small rim and uh, yeah that's just nice and simple and how I like it got the this was a bit of a dad feature. Dad said you need some chrome on it, so you got some. It was a birthday present. Got some chrome dress rims. I was a bit skeptical when he first got them for me, but I fucking love them now. I love the old school chrome look. That's a, that's a bit of an old school thing. I think yeah, a lot of old vehicles used to have the dress rims, but yeah, love it. All right, that's that's about it for old red. Um, yeah, just thought we'd give you a bit of a tour, a bit of a look through the old gal, what we've done to her. Um, as I said before, it's it's not comfortable to drive. It's not it's not too bad, but you know, it's not a smooth vehicle. It's got no power steering, no aircon, but uh, it gets us there every time. So. She's a darling. She's a good old gal. <laughs> Alright, so under the bonnet, here we are. Let's start that again. <laughs> Other trips, I had a copper brass radiator, and um, well, read on that. Just start again. Go. Remember, I can cut this all out. Alright, for the, our suspension for an um, old vehicle. But, uh, yeah, I don't know, I'm running out Well, it's going, but I'm just... Fuck's sake. I just think I've still got all this screen. Yep. And just like that, it's done. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> she's gotten us from A to B. She's a good old girl. <laughs> Alright, be cool.